Yeah, but it's being it been being kicked around a bit, isn't it? Mm. I mean, it, 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 what did the country think when the Tory party dumped a prime minister who'd won the biggest majority since 1987 in Boris Johnson? Um, because um, it, it, he, he was... We know he had, he had problems with the truth. He didn't always get to the point of... Uh, it happens. Uh, They're all, they all lie, though, by the looks well, of Well, and so then they replace her, replace him with a woman... Trust who didn't even barely got a third of MPs, uh, but the party members liked her, and they're about 170,000 mm. chosen it. Are they really going to dump another prime minister and put the country through another unedifying no, Tory leadership oh. contest? It, it, that will, pe will appear to people watching this TV today now, it will not look terribly democratic, will it? Mm. It will look like the behaviour of a cult. They're starting to behave like a cult. They, if they could, if she's going, the only way they can get away with it is if they have a coronation of a prime minister, no election, no delay, and then he or she gets on with it quickly. But I think it would be a terrible optic mm, to do it again. Whatever you think of Liz Truss, and she's more wooden than this table. Actually, this table's not wooden. Sort, sort, of, sort of MDF, but, yeah, I mean, she's yeah. not even that. No, she's, she's, she's not a great communicator. She's a poor communicator. We know that. She was a disaster in that press conference the other day. Um, she, she, she's not bad in the House of Commons, mm. actually, but she's looking um, like she's been... She looks terrified, actually, mm, mm, I think. Mm. That's the problem. Yeah, she does, and that's what is that's, worrying me. Yeah, I, I, I want someone that's strong mm. yeah. and, and, and a leader, and at the moment I'm looking at a woman who is, like, having a very public nervous breakdown mm. from her. I mean, I, I actually I do feel sorry for her mm. because I wouldn't want to wake up this morning and see the, the newspaper front pages um, and, 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 you know, and what her husband is... is uh, where there are checkers, aren't they, this mm. weekend? I mean, mm. you know, a nightmare constantly. How is she getting any sleep? But, I mean, back to the question, is democracy dead in the UK? Well, technically, no, it's not because we're in this situation we're in because of the way our democratic poli uh, uh, dem de democracy actually works. I mean, we don't vote for a leader in this country, we vote for a political party. Mm. And in 2019, we, the country, not we personally, we voted for the Conservative Party. We still have the Conservative Party in charge. Now, we, we, we don't elect a president. I mean, look, obviously, it's quite clear that a lot of people voted for the Conservatives because they liked Boris Johnson. It was his personality rather than his policies, I expect. Um, so, but we're not voting for a leader. We are voting for a manifesto put forward by a political party. That political party is still in charge. Yeah, but the manifesto has changed. The manifesto has changed. changed. And that's what they were elected for, democratic. Yes, that, that's so on it, a daily basis. That has, has changed. Yeah. I mean, obviously, because so many other things have happened, obviously, since then. We've had, obviously, the COVID thing, um, the Ukraine invasion. So, but... The, the party is what we vote for. We don't vote for a leader. We're not America, not yet. So, in theory, technically, democracy is not dead. However, the way it's going at the moment... But what's the answer? Do we go to the country and have a general election there? I think we're all pretty much agreed that would be a disaster. Uh, not another one. Well, not exactly, another. Uh, with the winter yeah. coming up. Or, or do, we, we, do we ask everybody who would you like to see leading this, this party? I mean, how long is that going to take? Well, well less. But, but the, problem, the problem here is, first of all, what they're doing is not what they were elected to do. And then when Liz Truss got in, she changed what we'd agreed them to do and decided what she was going to do. And then, we, so then she was elected for what she was going to do, but then her party have decided that that's not what they want to do, which is not, nothing to do with what we want. And so it feels like they're just, they're just, as you said, it's like a cult. They've decided, oh, we're going to do this, we don't like her, we're going to get rid of her. We're gonna... They were elected on a mandate, which they are not following. They were also elected because of a leader, which they have got rid of. And even when he won, Boris won the no-confidence vote, they wanted to change the rules so that... They yeah. didn't have to wait for a year. And I think they have to wait a certain period with Liz Truss. But now they're going to try and get rid of her in some way. Well, they have to wait another year, but they can get rid of But can they the change that rule? They, they can, can. change can. that, they can't they? Well, I read a, the a fascinating quote in one of the Sunday papers today. If Sir Graham Brady, who's the chairman and the officers of the 1922, say, no, we cannot change the rules, mm. it would be unfair... The MP was quoted saying, well, we'll get rid of him and we'll put some officers in the night. <laughs> exactly. And, to, oh, well. well, no, and I laughed it. out loud that's and I thought, saying. my God, this is a banana republic. Well, that's what I'm we, saying. We don't, oh, the rules aren't, but we don't like the rules. We'll change them. We'll shoot the people. We'll, I mean, this is madness. Well, they had a go at Boris for trying to change rules for something yeah. that he wanted. And then, but they were doing exactly the same thing. So it just feels like 
they literally are power hungry. They get in and then they just do whatever they want. And if, where, if, if, if what is happening, they're not happy with it, just change the rules again. It's like a it death cult. Be. Something has to give. Something has to happen. Well, what's going to give, Nana? That's the question. That's the question. I think everybody watching and listening today and everybody sitting here is like, what is the answer to where we are now? And we were saying in the break, Andrew, it's like, I, I've never been as depressed by politics in this country in my entire lifetime. Because I don't know what the answer is. I don't know what I want to happen, what should happen. I know that if I, if there was a general election tomorrow or next week or whenever, I, w I wouldn't have a clue who to vote for. No. I really wouldn't. No, we don't, I mean, um, we politically don't, we, homeless. We, we don't know what Keir Starmer Well, he won't do, tell us. Because he won't tell us. No. Because he's just relying on the Tories to screw up and, by God, they're doing that yeah. job for and, him. And plus, I mean, this isn't even a political point, It's because like, I'm not a political animal per se, but this... The, Labour are just as divided. Yeah. They're hiding it quite well at the mm. moment. But, I mean, we know there's huge divisions yeah, in yeah. that party. That Corbyn wing of the party is still enormous. They're still there, they're still there. And Angela Rayner is deputy. Yeah. G, G came out with those comments of scum and he told yeah, yeah. Banana, Banana Republic. You, you can't speak like that. As, it's just not acceptable well, on any level as uh, a leader or anything. If my, if my daughter spoke in that way, yeah. I'd tell her to wash her mouth out with soap and get yeah. out of my house. Well, especially we, we, in the light of yeah. uh, David Amos's... I know, I know. But we also had that Labour MP a few weeks ago, Rupert Huck, uh, <gasps> saying that um, he, he's not a real black, black man. Superficial I know. Black. I mean, oh, my God. How many other Labour MPs hold those sort of views? Well, she sat there with others around her yeah. saying that yeah. out loud. And she, yeah. wasn't, she was called out by... A panelist, but not an MP. No, she's been. She's had the whip suspended. She's still. She's, she's still, still in the there. Labour Party. Well, she apologised eventually. And eventually, not she initially. Apologized. And the interesting thing was uh, that Sadiq Khan said, uh, you know, even he admitted that what she said was racist. But then he said, but she's not a racist. And oh. in my view, if you're going to say things that are racist, that makes then you that racist. Makes you a racist. racist. I mean, I what's the what's what's the division? Right. You can say stuff, but then you're not really racist. But it's okay, I can say that. No, 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 no. What you said was racist. That makes you racist. You have to understand that. Yeah. And when you've understood that, then you can try and re-educate yourself on what racism is. Yeah. yeah. Well, quite. So that's the worry with the Labour Party. Yeah. What's going on behind those carefully... Um, very, very... ...manufactured yeah. looking yeah. Keir Starmer? So this is the uh, steady, mm. boring, grey man, but, but that's perhaps what the country... Yeah. Wants. But what's going on on those backbenches? What do they really think? Well, I don't, you've only got to look at the way Angela Rayner looks at him sometime. Mm.